What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Coming at you with a Legend London review, little haul we got going on here. You guys remember I did actually review them about a year ago, had a really nice experience, so I'm happy to be doing it again. In case you haven't noticed, I've been doing a lot of fall fashion lately. It's my favorite time of the year. It's my favorite fashion. So to mix things up so I'm not always wearing leggings even though I like it that way, I try to intermix my fits with some jeans. This video is brought to you by, hmm, who? Legend London, huge thank you to them for sending these pieces out my way to review. They specialize in both men's and women jeans. That's like their focalization, but don't get it twisted. They also have bodysuits, hoodies, real comfy, cozy, things like that. Basically the way they tailor their jeans are for people who lift or have a lot of curve. So for example, certain jeans are really great if you have bigger quad muscles, bigger glutes, they just really hug and stretch out to fit your body. Now, even though I don't have any crazy big quads or anything going on yet, Still working on those gains. I like them because they stretch around my hips. That's something I always had difficulty with, even as a young girl. I want my jeans to feel as little like jeans as possible. Does that make sense? I think it does. Right now, I have four different pairs of skinny jeans. I am not over that skinny jean look. I don't think I ever will be, especially in the full winter when I wear boots. They just tuck in so nicely. I feel like the mom jeans and the baggier jeans are perfect for summer with a cute little crop top. Definitely be sure to be subscribed. I hope you're ready for what's next. I'm thinking about reviewing the Gymshark Power, so hands up if you want to see that. We also have Buff Bunny Off The Grid, have you seen that? My soul is alive with that collection, I'm so excited. I might even review it out in the middle of the woods. We have some new Halara coming, brand new Bluey, and we also have some exciting Alpha Elite videos coming your way. It's a November Alpha Elite video, what do you think that's gonna be about? Super important information to know is that every single jean is in a UK size 8. Remember, they go off of UK sizing. I'm usually a true size small or a four, a US four. Kicking it off with the lightest pair in today's video. This is the light blue skinny jean. As you can see, there's a little bit of that extra room. I like the fact that the waist isn't so cinched where I feel like it's cutting into my midsection. Like I said before, a little bit of let up, great. But it doesn't look funky and weird where it's like there's gapes and gaps and it looks like a size too big. I also appreciate the fact that they're real pockets. Another thing I like is the fact that it doesn't dig in the groin area. I've worn jeans where this part is just way too tiny on me. So putting them on, pretty effortless. But what I wanna test out is the comfort level and the stretch. I need things to move with my body or else I simply don't wear it. Now let's try the shoe tie test. In other words, when I bend down to tie my shoe that's always untied, are the jeans gonna dig into my midsection? Better yet, are they gonna slide and show my underwear or gape awkwardly? Let's find out. Like this. Yeah. Now I also wanna test it on a chair. It's gonna sound really weird. I sit weird. Let me show you. Okay. I kid you not, my parents can vouch for this, right? And you too, bae. This is how I sit. It's just very comfortable for me. So right now, we're feeling pretty good around here. Obviously there's a little bit of that dig, but again, it's denim. A Little bit of tightness right here, but boy, is this a lot better than just traditional denim with no stretch. There's just enough stretch in this particular pair where I can get away with wearing this all day for a long period of time and I just know that I'm gonna feel all right. Not gonna lie, light blue denim is what I gravitate towards more in early fall, like September time, where it's like, oh, you've grabbed your first pair of jeans of the season. Acid gray wash, this is an October jean, and you know it. It's stretchier around the knees, a little tighter, but stretchier, if that makes sense, a little more form fit, but stretchier than the previous jeans you just saw. However, there's a couple downfalls to this pair compared to the first. Number one, check it out. This doesn't come past my belly button, whereas the first pair did. So when I do the shoe tie test in these jeans, well, the footage will speak for itself. Let's go like that. Oh, snap. So I feel like this jean would get the best use with a nice oversized top. That's what I'm gonna be using it for, just to avoid any awkwardness going on around here because the main point is you wanna get your lower back covered. So a nice big baggy sweater, spooky season, you know, you catch my drift. Cause look at this, you got a lot of space right here. 
Luckily, it doesn't look that huge. It still lies up against the skin nice. But again, there's a ton of room and it's gonna slip a bit. I love this grungy look. When I get an acid gray wash that works, this tone, I love it, especially around this time of year. I actually used to be really punk rock when I was younger, believe it or not. I used to be a big Good Charlotte fan. I actually met them. I used to wear the high socks, the Good Charlotte t-shirts, the sweatbands around the wrists, all that. I literally look like I raided Avril Lavigne's wardrobe. So that girl is still in me. I still dig that style. And with these jeans, you already know I'm wearing some black combat boots. So far, the lengths are pretty good. Right at the ankle, not too long, not too awkwardly short. Moving on to the bleached denim. It went on pretty nice. These are the type of jeans, they get broken in very quickly. So I gotta mention something. We, we have to take a second to really focus on the peach in these jeans because you wanna make sure that the back pockets aren't too high up where it looks like you just really ram those jeans up high. But you also don't want them to look too low where it looks saggy and like either A, you got no booty <laughs> or B, they're just not the right size and they're just making their way down. So pocket placement is really important. Here, they did it right, right where it should be. But just for the heck of it, I do wanna see how high I can hike them up. Treat them like leggings a little bit, slap them around. Do a bit of this, a little. Good, nothing's cracking, no seams are popping. There's a nice stretch in them to make it work. Whoa. And it's riding up really bad right now. <laughs> it was worth a shot. I don't actually think you need to do that with these jeans. They look natural enough, naturally beautiful on the peach. They did a good job with that. But just like the acid gray wash, when I do the shoe tie test, there's a bit of a gape. There's a little bit of a downer going on back here. But everything else is so comfortable. Like I can bend and move around. They claim there's a really nice four-way stretch. So let's see. One, two, three. Four. I bet you didn't think I could do this. Now, if you're a yogi, do not correct my form. I know, I know. In my opinion, this is the most versatile color. It's not too light, it's not too dark. It's a really nice medium blue. It is the classic staple blue jean. I love a nice cozy brown ankle boot. This is the jean I'm wearing to a pumpkin patch. Have a nice comfy oversized sweater with it or a plaid jacket, you name it. Ending the show with the darkest pair in today's video. I am not somebody who actually gravitates towards really dark blue jeans. Nevertheless, I'm giving classic indigo a shot here. I feel like this could be really good with a really nice, oversized, comfy, cozy poncho. I actually went to town on buying a bunch of them this season because they're so comfortable. So it's safe to say that's my look of the season, especially post Halloween. This outfit I'm about to share with you guys is my quintessential Thanksgiving outfit. High riding boots. A nice cozy piece up top and then the classic dark blue I tend to go darker with my pieces as a whole the colder it gets so I'm very seasonal and that goes with my jeans too so I think this is the darkest pair I own even though this is the darkest pair it's the stretchiest but as comfortable and stretchy as it is just like the other two it gapes when you tie your shoe it makes its way down so three out of the four of these jeans you gotta wear a belt so I wanted to wear a high-rise thong underneath the jeans just to give you guys an idea of how it would show when you squat down. So my biggest takeaway, no problem at all with the movement or comfort level. Very comfortable jeans, very stretchy where it counts, flattering as heck, but I do suggest wearing a lower rise thong or bikini brief, whatever. Just make sure it's a little bit lower, wear a nice belt. If you're not wearing a heavy jacket or a long cardigan or something that can cover up this area. And again, this is just my measurements. This is how it's fitting me. So always reference my measurements below so that you can get the best idea for yourself. So comment down below, which one's your favorite? I think it's a tie between the bleach blue and the acid gray wash. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And definitely don't forget to subscribe because we have some juicy fruit videos coming your way. Big brands you don't wanna miss out on, all our favorites. Thank you guys for being here. I love you so much and I'll catch you in my next video.